harder version, you hold on to the weight even when you go up. Now you can see the amount of pressure going through my knees, my adductors, my uh, you know my whole hips and lower body is full on there. But the strength that it builds, your ability to be able to get down into the middle splits is, uh, is just amazing. So you want to learn how to do the middle splits. Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you an advanced middle splits workout. This is not for beginners. We are going to show you some serious end range strength techniques that are not for the faint hearted. But if you are stuck with trying to get to your middle splits, I guarantee you this is going to be your breakthrough moment. You don't want to miss this full routine. Stick around, all that and more coming up. We are the gym that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is about performance, not just body image. Hi, in case we haven't met, my name is Rad Burmeister. I'm one of the co-founders of Unity Gym and co-creators of the UMS, Unify Movement System, where we take driven people and turn them into superhumans. Now, the way that we get such amazing results with our members is that we've created a program that has a perfect balance between strength and flexibility. If you want to know how we do that, download one of the free blueprints. There's a link in the description for all of them, the flexibility blueprint, the strength blueprint, and the nutrition blueprint. All right, let's get into this video. So the first exercise we're going to do is called the Taylor Pose. This is an absolute killer and there's a lot to it. So everything that I'm about to describe to you is what we do in one set. So the first thing that we're going to do is the, um, the overcoming isometric, so the butterfly overcoming isometric. So I've got a 20 kilo weight plate here or, or 44 pound, I don't, I don't know exactly what the conversion is, uh, but it's a heavy weight plate so that my feet are being really held in place here and I've got something that I can hold on to which you're gonna see uh, in a minute. So I'm gonna remind you again, this is an advanced workout. This is a, this expects that you already have uh, a basic understanding and a, a several months of training in end range strength and if you don't, you're gonna to wanna to go back and watch the uh, beginner and intermediate workouts uh, before you do this. So, from here, I've got my um, I've got my yoga blocks, and they're coming just to where my knees are. And I'm going to do three reps of 10 seconds. But the difference I'm going to do here is I can actually grab onto this weight plate and pull myself forward whilst I drive my knees down. So I'm pulling myself forward. I'm going to do 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, and I'm not gonna do the whole set because it, it actually takes me about three, three and a half minutes to do one set. So, you know, so you guys don't get bored. So then what I'll do is I'll bring this out just a little bit and I'll do uh, another 10 seconds, okay? And then I'll bring it out a bit more and then another 10 seconds. So each one, it goes out a little bit. So that's the first thing, three reps, 10 second contraction. Now from here, I'm gonna do eight reps of three second contractions, just driving down as hard as I can. So I'm gonna grab onto the weight plate, Drive my knees down, one, two, three, relax. And again, one, two, three. And if you hear my voice and look at the strain in my body, this is a real effort for me. I'm really driving my knees down as hard as I can. On the eighth contraction, we're gonna hold it for about 10 seconds. So I'm gonna drive down, one, two, three. So while I'm doing this, I'm pulling myself forward, driving my knees down as hard as I can, okay? And then what I'm going to do, is after my eight reps of three second contractions, I'm gonna grab my weight. I've got 15 kilos or maybe 35 pounds, whatever it is. Um, you can do much lighter than that. I wouldn't recommend anybody go above 20 kilos or 44 pounds. Um, don't go above that, okay? So from here, we're gonna bring the weight up. And now I'm gonna do eight reps of contract, uh, of, of loaded lifts with a contract relax at the end. So from here, I'm gonna lift up against the weight. And then when I go back down, I'm gonna drive my knees down into the ground as hard as I can, then lift back up, back down, drive my knees down into the ground as hard as I can. And then at the end, I'm gonna, on the eighth rep, I'm gonna drive my knees down as hard as I can for 10 seconds, okay? And then I'm gonna take the weight away, and then I'm gonna do one last final rep where I grab onto the weight plate, pull myself forward, drive my knees down, as hard as I can for 10 seconds, and that, all of that is one set. If I did the whole set for you, you'd be just sitting here watching me do that for about three or four minutes. That's one set, you're going to do three sets of that. Second exercise for this workout is a fire hydrant loaded lifts. And this is a real mofo on the uh, abductors, on the glutes. This is really bringing that strength in here, and uh, we're gonna 
to develop a lot of strength in the glutes to be able to pull our legs into abduction, into the splits and create that end range strength that's gonna help you to get into the middle splits. So, what we're going to do from here is I'm gonna have a bench set up like this and I'm choosing a weight that I can lift. So for me, it's five kilos or about uh, 11 pounds, I think that is, something like that. I'm gonna bring my leg up like this and we're gonna put the uh, weight on my knee. And what I'm gonna do, if you look at uh, my position here, the idea is that the position that I'm in now, I don't want any of my body to move except for my leg. So from here, I'm going to do a lift of 10 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna lift this leg up, but I'm gonna make sure that my foot and knee come up at the same height. So watch, so from here, I'm gonna hold it. Okay, and then relax. Watch this, I'm gonna show you an incorrect rep, okay? See how my knee came up, but my leg didn't come up with it? Um, and that's a really common, uh, sorry, it's actually more common that people do this, where the foot comes up, but the knee doesn't come up with it. Either of those are incorrect. You want the knee and the foot coming up together. So, three reps of 10 second hold like that. Then we remove the weight, okay? And from here, what I'm gonna do is five lifts. So I'm gonna try and keep my body still. One, two, three, four, five, and then a five second hold. Lifting as high as I can, as hard as I can, activating those glutes. <laughs> you can hear it in my voice and see me shaking. That is a real contraction. I'm really working hard to try and lift my leg up as high as I can and activate those glutes. And I'm making sure that my knee and my foot are at the same height. I don't want to be um, externally or internally rotating uh, the hip like that. I want to keep the whole leg coming up like this, not like this or not like this, okay? Three sets of that. 10 reps, uh, sorry, 10 second hold per rep with the weight for three reps. Then remove the weight, five ballistic reps where you come up as hard as you can but without moving your body. And then a five second hold at the end, that's one set. We wanna do three sets. Last exercise for this workout, and I'm gonna show you the very, very easy version first. In all honesty, the height that I'm at here, if you need to use something this high, then um, this workout might be a little bit too much for you. So ideally, even as a, at the early levels of learning a straddle up, you want your um, groin to be lower to the ground. I'm just using the bench because it's what I've got set up here, but um, ideally, if I wasn't flexible enough to do the harder versions, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, I would be sitting on something about that high, okay? Anyway, so from here, I've got my legs uh, as wide as I can go, and I'm gonna push with my hands. Whilst I push with my hands, I'm pulling my heels that way so that I come up, push forward, and then come back down, hands on the bench, back down. Come up, hips forward, back down, hands on the bench, and there we go. And now I'll show you the intermediate and advanced versions. So straddle up to good morning. I've got my five kilo or 11 pound weight here, and I'm gonna show you the intermediate and then slightly harder intermediate version, and then I'll show you the advanced version after. So this is still what we call an intermediate version. So from here, I'm sitting on the ground, I'll pull my legs out as wide as they can comfortably go, and what I'm gonna do is push with my hands, stand up, grab the weight, and then I'm gonna do a couple of good mornings. So from here, push with my hands, grab onto the weight, and then we're gonna go one, two, three, and back down. So we do three reps of that, and that would be one set. So up, and then three reps, and then back down. That's one rep, and then the second rep. Now I'm gonna show you the advanced intermediate version, still not the advanced version. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm not gonna use my hands. I'm gonna pull up, grab onto the weight. One, two, three, back down. Up, and then so on and so forth like that. Now let's check out the advanced version. Now this is the advanced version and I'm going to say that word again, this is advanced, this is not for beginners. You must have done a lot of training, a lot of conditioning on all the other end range strength, on the uh, eccentric middle splits, the active middle splits, the um, straddle ups that I just showed you, um, you know, the middle splits crap, you need to do a lot of work before you get to this. So if you haven't put in the work, uh, this is a higher risk of injury, but if you put in the work, then you're gonna get really good gains with this. So, 
I've got two steps here. You don't have to go as high as this. You can go on something lower. But the idea is that I'm doing a deficit straddle up so that my legs go higher than ground level. So I'm going to lift my legs up on here. Okay. And then from here. In the harder version, you hold on to the weight even when you go up. Now you can see the amount of pressure going through my knees, my adductors, my uh, you know my whole hips and lower body is full on there. But the strength that it builds, your ability to be able to get down into the middle splits, is uh, is just amazing. So if you can get up to this uh, and get through this workout, of course you don't need to do those straddle ups. You can still do this whole workout and do one of the other versions of the straddle ups that I showed you. But this is your goal, and once you can do this, your middle splits are going to be on point. Thanks for watching. I really hope that you learned something with this video. This really is an amazing routine and it's helped me and many of our thousands of members around the world nail the middle splits. Now, as I said at the start of this video, this is actually an intermediate routine. So we've got a really cool beginner's routine, actually a couple of them on this channel if you want to watch those. Now, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified when our new videos uh, come online. And if you want to know anything about fitness, strength, flexibility, anything that you'd like us to do a video on, please leave a comment and we'll get around to making it as soon as we can. Have a great day, enjoy your training.